I'm Bruce Hamilton from News for Jax. The long-delayed sentencing hearing for former Jacksonville City Council members Katrina Brown and Reggie Brown expected to reach a conclusion this afternoon. The two who are not related were convicted last year of federal charges of conspiracy, fraud, and money laundering stemming from a federally-backed loan and a city grant obtained for a barbecue sauce business owned by Katrina Brown's family. Students at Fletcher High School returned to class today. They've been virtually learning because of a coronavirus outbreak at the school. Students from Douglas Anderson return to the classroom tomorrow. Record voter turnout continues in Northeast Florida as people take advantage of early voting. Local election staff says an 80 to 90 percent turnout in Northeast Florida is expected if the trend continues. A Florida man who changed the voter registration of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and accessed those belonging to NBI icons Michael Jordan and LeBron James was arrested by FDLE. Anthony Guevara, a 20-year-old from Naples, was arrested at his home after agents served a search warrant. And Leanza Coronet, a woman who was raised in Jacksonville and crowned Miss America in 1993, died after being hospitalized for a head injury. She was 49. The news continues on Channel 4 and NewsForJax.com. I'm Bruce Hamilton. Have a great day.